Hello everyone and welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm Rohit and here's your daily dose on aptitude skills. In this video, I'll explain you a smart method of answering certain type of questions from time and work, which is a very important topic in various competitive exams. So at the end of this video, you will be able to solve such question types without putting pen on paper. So let's understand this smart method with the help of an example. The question says, Ajay can complete a piece of work in eight days. After working for five days, Rahul joins him and they finish the remaining work in next one day. In how many days can Rahul finish the work alone? Right. So simple question there. It says Ajay can finish a work in eight days. Right. So this person Ajay can do the total work in eight days. Now what has actually happened? He has worked for the first five days after which Rahul joins him. And these two guys together finish the remaining work in next one day. Right? So it is obvious that when he has worked for 5 days, he has finished some part of the work. Right? He cannot finish the complete work because to finish the complete work, he needs 8 days. Right? Now after 5 days, Rahul has joined. So Ajay and Rahul together finish the remaining work in next one day. And we need to find out the number of days required by Rahul to finish this work if he is working alone. Now the traditional method of answering this question is to frame the work equation. Right? Based on uh, the concept of work being equal to men into number of days. So we'll write that work equation, find out the capacity of Rahul from that and then we can get the number of days required by Rahul alone to finish the work. But instead of doing all that, you can get the answer for such type of questions just uh, you know mentally without having to write anything on paper. So let's understand the approach here. See, you know that Ajay can actually finish the total work in 8 days. Now if you look at the real situation here, he has worked for 5 days alone and after that he has worked along with Rahul for one more day because they have finished the remaining work in next one day. So altogether if you observe the effort put by Ajay is 6 days. Ajay has worked for 6 days right in this whole process he has worked for 6 days. 5 days he has worked alone and on 5th or 6th day he has worked along with Rahul. Now if you observe you know that Ajay can do the total work in 8 days. He has worked only for 6 days so his effort is 6 days right he has put 6 days of effort now how much can he finish in 6 days he can finish 3 fourth of the work right 6 out of 8 days 3 fourth of the work gets over right so Ajay has contributed 3 fourth of the work right Ajay has contributed uh, or finished 3 fourth of the work from his side it is obvious that if Ajay has done 3 fourth of the work the remaining 1 fourth of the work was done by the second person who is Rahul here Yes or no? So Rahul has finished one fourth of the work. But for how many days did Rahul work altogether? He has worked only for one day. Because after Rahul comes into picture, they have finished the remaining work in one day. So we can now conclude that Rahul can finish one fourth of the work in just one day. So how many days will he require to finish the total work? Four days. One fourth in one day. So to finish the total work, you know that the total work is always one unit. In how many days can you do that? four days and that's your answer Rahul can finish the work alone in four days all right so this is with respect to Rahul the equation that you've taken here and these are uh, with respect to Ajay anyways you need not write these steps on paper to arrive at the answer just read the question understand the effort by each of the persons and then find out uh, the number of days required by the second person alone to finish the work I hope all of you have enjoyed uh, watching this video and you have learned this smart approach to solve such questions from time and work I'll come up with more such videos on smart methods to score more in quantitative aptitude and for that you need to subscribe to our channel and to do that just click this button here. See you in the next session. Thank you. In this video we are going to solve a very tricky question with a simple solution from mensuration. In this video I'll explain you the concept of cyclicity which is very useful in answering questions from the topic of number systems. Let us look at one such question which can